Hello, Jason Wonder here with my newest sword design. This is the Daywalker number two. I have redesigned the sword. It now has a wider blade, a wider guard to protect the hand, a wider pommel to keep the hand from sliding, and we've now wrapped it in black deerskin leather for more of a secure grip. The sword is full tang, 3 16 steel, 1095 properly heat treated. This is one of our new Doomsday line swords. This is a sword buyer's guide exclusive in partnership with Scorpion Swords and Knives. These are handmade by Chris Palmer to order as you order them. You can also get the black buffalo hide sheet that he makes to go with it. It fits in very well. Uh, the total specs on this is 35 inches long. Blade is over 24 inches long. Handle's over 10 inches long. The balance point's about three inches past the guard. It has a nice composite grip for shock. And again, this is an exclusive I'm, I'm going to be uh, testing to make sure it cuts well, make sure it can withstand harsh abuse and hard testing, and that it doesn't break, and that it's safe for people to buy. So stay tuned. Thank you. Daywalker 2, cutting test to see how sharp the edge is. Daywalker 2, happy Halloween. Daywalker 2, cutting test to see if it can cut to a standard cutting mat. Here we go. Sharp. All right, we're getting the day walk or two and a piece of carpet. No problem. Striking the day walk or two against the two by four. Daywalker 2, I'm going to strike it against a fallen tree, see how it holds up. Still good and straight, no edge damage, nothing loose, holding up well, moving on. All right, day walker two, I'm gonna stab the tip of it through this vehicle's hood to see how the tip holds up. Here we go. Here's the tip after stabbing it through a vehicle's hood. Holding up very well. Straight, solid, nothing loose. Moving on. All right, day water two. I'm gonna test the tip by stabbing it through a steel drum and see if it holds up. Here we go.
to check out the tip. It's looking good. Here are the marks, penetration marks, still dry. Holding up well. All right, day walker two. I'm gonna strike it against a steel drum to see if the edge holds up and the blade holds up to the impacts. Here we go. Edge here. Still good and straight. Let's look at here at the impact marks. Come over here, run this. Way. Let's see here. Here's the fresh impact marks. Come up high. Holding up well. So far, so good. All right. Day Walker 2, striking it against a cheap katana to see how the edge holds up. I've hit this one a couple of times before with other swords from my Doomsday line, so we'll see how it does. Here we go. Don't try this at home. See the edge differences here. Took some minor scuffs on the Daywalker 2, but no damage, no serious damage. You can see the differences between the two. Blade's still good and straight. Held up well. Alright, testing the Daywalker 2, striking it against a metal pole to see how the edge holds up. Doesn't look like there's any edge damage. Still good and straight. All right, check out the pole here versus the edge. Going well so far. All right. All right, here is my final test on the Daywalker 2. I'm gonna strike it against a piece of granite to see if the edge holds up and if it's sort of safe to use and won't break. So here we go. Is still straight. Thing feels tight. Let's look at the edge here. Took a little edge damage, of course, striking any sword against something that solid is going to damage the edge. It doesn't matter what it's made of. But uh, it held up well. Didn't break. That was my main concern to make sure it's safe for people to buy. So I'm impressed. Day Walker 2 is held up. I will give my final thoughts. Thank you guys.
Hello, Jason Woodard here with my final thoughts on my newest sword design. This is the Daywalker 2 design. This is the second one I've designed. I've made some changes. I've made the blade a little bit wider, a little bit shorter for strength. It has a wider guard to protect the hand. It has a wider pommel to keep the hand from sliding down so easily. It's now wrapped in black deerskin leather for more of a secure grip and absorbs more shock. This has held up very well to all of my harsh testing. Uh, feels good in the hand, it performs well. It balances just about three, three and a half inches past the guard, so it's got a great balance point. Feels good, easy to use. It's held up well to all of my testing, striking, jugs, uh, the edge is held up, it's very sharp. Uh, wood, metal, stabbing it through a steel drum, through a car hood, the tip is held up very well. I've struck it against granite and that's where the most damage occurred on the edge. I've actually ground that off and that was not hard to do. Uh, but striking any sword against granite is going to damage it. So I advise you not to try that at home. Um, it's held up very well. Nothing has come loose. The blade has stayed good and straight. Uh, very proud of this design. The pre-orders are already doing very well and the Doomsday line is killing it. So I really appreciate your guys' support. Thank you very much. Um, you can also get the nice buffalo hide leather sheath. These are made to order by Chris Palmer as they are, are ordered. This is in partnership with Paul Southern at the Sword Buyer's Guide. So this has held up very well. I'm very proud of it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be working on my next design to be, re to be coming out here pretty soon. So thank you guys, and stay tuned. Bye.